Oh hey, my name is Mark Ramos, and today we're going over what points and miles are, how to earn them, and how to burn them. Well, I mean, I mean how to use, how to use them, burn them, ah, whatever, you know what I mean. All right, let's do it. Welcome to PowerPointers, the show where I'll be guiding you through everything you need to know to get started in the points and miles game. Let's jump right into it. What are points and miles? Simply put, points and miles are a type of currency. There are three important categories of points and miles. Airline miles, which can be used to pay for airline flights with a specific carrier. Hotel points, which can be used to pay for hotel stays with a specific chain. And credit card points, which can be used for a number of things including cash back, statement credits, paid travel, and more. The industries of credit cards, airlines, and hotels are closely intertwined, and the point of the whole hobby is to use those currencies to travel the world for little to no out-of-pocket costs. Using your points and miles to travel is what we call an award redemption. You're going to be hearing that term floating around a lot. A key strategy here is understanding that points and miles currencies are all worth a certain amount of actual money. However, not all points and miles are created equal, and the value behind them varies depending on the program. For example, TPG currently values American Airlines miles at 1.4 cents per mile, while we value Delta Sky miles at 1.2 cents per mile. This means that, generally speaking, your American miles will get you more value than your Delta miles when you're using them to book a flight. Cool, so we got that covered. Now, how do you earn points and miles? You earn points and miles anytime you sign up for an airline or hotel loyalty program and either book a flight with that airline or book a stay with that hotel chain. But the easiest way to earn them is by making purchases using a rewards credit card. Before I started working at the points guy, I used to pay for everything using my debit card. And I've since learned that at TPG, using your debit card to pay for anything at all is sacrilege. The reason being, debit cards have no point. Pun intended. Anytime you use a debit card, you're spending money and not getting back anything in return. But on the other hand, when you use a rewards credit card, anytime you spend money on anything, you get back valuable points and miles that you can put towards your next getaway. And when I say spend money on anything, I mean anything. Online shopping, points, Groceries, points, uh, your millionth takeout order of the week. You just supported a local business and you got points. <laughs> Depending on the type of card you have, certain spend categories might even get you bonus points. For instance, some cards offer bonus points when you spend on gas and other cards offer bonus points when you spend on dining. But before we go any further, let me state the cardinal rule of the points and miles game. One that is never to be broken. The rule is this, always pay your credit card bill on time and in full every single month. Never ever spend more than you can afford with a credit card or buy things that you wouldn't have just bought in plain cash. This rule is so important, it took the top spot on our list of 10 commandments for travel rewards credit cards. Okay. So you opened up a rewards credit card, you put some charges on it, you paid off your bill on time and in full, and now you racked up a whole bunch of points. Sweet. So how can you use those points to book a trip? This varies depending on the credit card issuer, but most credit card programs allow for some type of direct redemption of their points via an online portal. Generally speaking, through this portal, you would pay for your flights or your hotels using your points instead of paying with cash, which again is what we call an award redemption. The whole fun in the points and miles game is to keep cash in your pocket when booking a trip, or even better, using your points and miles for a flight or hotel room that you couldn't or wouldn't want to buy with cash. So you're often going to get the most bang for your buck if you use your points and miles on the price of your luxury flights and hotel stays, but at the end of the day, it all comes down to personal preference. There are exceptions to every rule, except the cardinal rule. Other than that, 
there are no right or wrong ways to play the points and miles game. What's really important here is making your travel goals a reality. So, what did we learn today? We learned that points and miles are a type of currency. You can earn points and miles when you fly, stay at a hotel, or make a purchase using a rewards credit card. You can use those points and miles to travel the world for little to no out-of-pocket cost. And most importantly, you should always pay your credit card bill on time and in full every single month. All right, folks, that does it for me. But if you like this video, throw us a little thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button for more episodes of PowerPointers. And I'll see you later.